And welcome back to Fox and Friends. The president signing an executive order giving a 1% pay raise to our military personnel and civilian federal workers. But the real headline here, it's kind of a pay cut. Yeah, that's because in the past, members of our military were receiving a 1.8% pay raise each year. And with so many veterans struggling to pay their bills, is the latest raise enough? Joining us now is one of the most decorated pilots in Air Force history, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Dan Hampton. Dan, thanks for being with us this morning. Uh, civilian workers in the past hadn't been getting a raise, so now they get a 1% raise, but it comes on the back of our veterans. Yeah, and you know, here I was thinking that that Barack Hussein and Congress couldn't do anything uh, to further undermine the credibility of the government, you know, in the eyes of, of, of America and the world, and they've gone and done it. And this, this is a betrayal, uh, pure and simple. Uh, these are people that have put their lives on the line for America, for Americans. They've done it for at least 20 years. These aren't people that have, have joined up, done their time, and gotten out. These are people that have made a career out of it. And yet their pensions are now uh, an, an easy mark. Uh, for people like, what was it, Nancy Pelosi, you know, she's, uh, I'm not surprised by her actions. She's nothing more than a, a sock puppet, really. Uh, but I am surprised by Paul Ryan. He said something last week about 40 years of compensation being a little too generous for 20 years of service. And after I picked my coffee up off the ground, uh, I was reminded that, you know, a member of Congress only has to serve, and I use that term very loosely, serve for five years before they qualify for their pension plan. And yet they're not they're not under the gun for any of this, neither is the other $900 billion in federal pensions. So it, it really is a, a betrayal. Well, from your comments, I can tell you're very outraged by this, and one would arguably understand that. Uh, when you look at the, the whole scheme of things and what a man or woman has to sacrifice in terms of their military career to protect and defend our freedom here in this country, what do you think should be the right pay raise going forward? Well, I thought I think they ought to at least maintain the status quo. And I'll tell you that, you know, I, I volunteered, you know, I was I was a fighter pilot. I signed on the line. I took my chances. All that's fine. Nobody expects to get rich, even as a military officer. And I was a colonel. OK, but there there are people that that come in that get paid a lot less and really count on this to make ends meet and they're you know they're they're taking it away mm -hmm. and one of the one of the reasons there's such a hole in the department of defense right now is they lost eight point five trillion dollars over the last ten to fifteen years and that's a lot of zeros they've lost point, even more absolutely you know eight point five trillion dollars that they've they've mismanaged and lost there's no accounting for the DOD and yet they think they're gonna make up for this with hacking away at, at veterans pensions and it's it's an absurd premise. Yeah, and Dan, it, you know, there's a law in place that the depart all uh, governmental departments, but Department of Defense is supposed to be audited every year. That was put in place back in 1996, and that has not happened. And that's where you're saying there's that eight trillion dollars that it, it hasn't really been held accounted for. That we don't exactly know where that money's been spent. Is that right? Absolutely. And and there's you know the the money that you're talking about uh, that that Hagel was was jumping up and down over is about 20 billion. That's a lot of money, but it's really a drop in the in the in the budget bucket, if you will. And there are other places to get the money. Okay, there's a 400 billion dollar welfare uh, slice of the budget. Even in this bill that they that they signed yesterday, they cut the veterans' pensions, but they left 4.2 billion dollars for illegal alien tax credits. I mean, where, how does that make sense? Foreign aid, $50 billion to countries like Afghanistan, Egypt, Pakistan. Uh, you know, that's money that could, be, that could be switched to different pots and paid this bill if they're really serious about balancing the budget, not veterans' pensions. Yeah, Dan, that's uh, all great points. So are veterans getting a pay cut this year and then still all of those other expenses mm -hmm. uh, continuing to be spent? Thank you very much, uh, Dan, for your time this morning. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me back. And again, you can understand his uh, concern yeah, of and, course. His, and why he's irate about that, because, look, it's deplorable that some of our members serving in the military are on food stamps. That's deplorable. Yeah, anyway, 